happy Halloweeny to Aaron Ray or Ra. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Uh, my brother of another mother. So happy, happy and good tidings unto you. And so I'm going to finally prove that I'm a good clown because I am the guy from the north. And so it's time that I say hello, and it's time danger this way comes. Hey, guess what, Aaron? You are amazing. This guy is a genius of geniuses, the, one of the smartest guys out there. I would love to see a debate between that guy and more official, the lawless one, because Aaron still has some love. I don't know about more. I think he might be dead already. But one thing for sure, Aaron is a man of love who's fighting for right. And uh, he's preaching the truth that the, 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 uh, the illusion of a God uh, to most people in this world, it's clearly not real because there is no such thing as an angry, wrathful guy upstairs that hates us all if we're not good. That's a bunch of load of hogwash and bullshit, really thick. And all that would come against Aaron for having believed the truth that that God never existed will have to deal with me. I My bark might be more than uh, uh, the bite, but I will bite. <laughs> Not Aaron. Aaron's my brother. But I'll bite other mothers of other brothers, brothers of other mothers and sisters, too. I like biting sisters, too. <laughs> so, welcome. And it's time to realize, as Aaron stands tall as a prophet of love, and he truly is a prophet of love because I discern correctly that love is in his heart huge. Uh, much more than people see, and I see tears that he has uh, allowed to fall that's cleansed his souls many times, and I see the purpose to his drive, and may all people catch his passion, and all against that are insane because passion is love in action. Many uh, enter the land of the walking dead where uh, uh, Aaron Ra is not. And they have a form of godliness unlike Aaron who has a true form of godliness because he shows his caring heart in his laughter. And uh, the laughter that the Lord is singing over him in silence is extraordinary because he is the love living within Aaron's chest. And Aaron has never committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit because I still see a big kid in there. He's got to be probably about 12. I'm eight. I'm uh, about eight years old in my heart. Uh, Aaron, 12. Okay, maybe 13. He's just, yeah, okay, puberty. Yeah, it happens. So it's time to realize that anyone uh, saying that the God that doesn't exist, that he preaches, is the wrong one. You're insane. And all people like that are just Pharisees and vipers. They are snakes. Uh, so it, it's up to you, Aaron, uh, to hold the scepter of God's authority that there has never been a wrathful, even, uh, angry God shaking his fist at us. So we can put away the masks. We don't need no masks. It's time to take off the mask and put up the dukes. Bop those guys on the beeper that want to stand against the truth that you are spreading. And such people, as they lower themselves lower than a slug, such people, they become unloving in their ways. And they start attacking good people like Aaron, who has always had the truth in his mouth. And by the way, Penjolette, I gotta say hello to my favorite magician. He says, how badly do you gotta hate 
uh, uh, people around you not to run over and proselytize, to tell them the very best good news about your supposed God that's supposedly going to save their lives. And how badly is it that people uh, must hate one another not to be doing that. And man, that's another right on brother of another mother. So this one is for you, dedicated actually to you, Penn Jillette, uh, this video. And I am a brother of another mother for Teller too, Penn and Teller. Don't forget Teller now. And I love you on the Big Bang Theory. That's just most remarkable. And so this video is a joint video to Aaron, the genius thereof, and to uh, uh, Mr. Gillette. And so it's time that all people standing against you uh, and is standing against your vision of if there was a true God, that he would be a loving God. And I know that's what you've all both thought at some point, and you were correct. Uh, the other is just a distortional false God. Uh, Christians got the false God, guys, number one, because uh, they got a God of favoritism, respecter of men. It's uh, uh, three places in the Bible that's a sin. So they got, Christians got the center God who loves those ones best, uh, and everybody else got to go to hell. You know, that's always been bullshit. And then not only that, they got a God of conditional love that has never existed. There's no such thing as conditional love. Rocky Sylvester Stallone, the man, he's right. Unless love is loyal and faithful, that it could never, ever be uh, true uh, love. Absolutely not. Love is patient and kind and forgiving and uh, 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 totally forgiving. Love is forgiveness. And lastly, they got a false god, a Christians do for sure, because they don't have the God of the Bible. Uh, the God of the Bible declares, I am the God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And the true Christ, which is not their Christ, is the one that declares, I am the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. So one, two, three strikes, four strikes, they're out. Uh, I could name a fourth and a fifth and I could go on. But know this, Penn Gillette and uh, Aaron Ra or Ray, uh, all those standing against your logic become unloving and they become bold, cunning, audacious people, unsociable, uncourteous, inhumane, lawless. They become at heart like a, a, a road rage, savage, uh, who's looking for monsters. They mock the meat that they prey upon and thereby they become ill-tempered, unrestrainable, worthless people, deaf to advice, foolish, most foolish, and birds of a feather flock together because they desire to be full of evil, unloving acts, unteachable about love, unjust about love, uh, that will not recognize the truth of the Bible, that all good people who have their love alive, like, like uh, you, Mr. Magician, and like you, Mr. Uh, prophet Guy, uh, Aaron, uh, and everyone has been a prophet. Everyone has been inspired of our love who is living within us. There's no good, man. Uh, Aaron, you're no damn good. I'm no damn good. Neither are you, Penn. Uh, but one thing for sure, uh, we're all pretty good when we're sleeping, even if we have love as a child burning in our chest. And all that do not believe that, they are never to be trusted in agreements, people that would come against Penn and people that would come against Aaron. They are one with whom there would never be any peace. They become covetous and lawless, unfriendly, homeless, sedacious, faithless, disorderly even. And in doing so, they let their love wax cold as they look for demons under every rock. They're just smelling the, 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 the really rank smell of milk that's gone bad and rancid long ago. Who will come and feed the master's household meat while the master is away? Hello, my name is Daniel. And all those that will not believe Aaron and Penn's truth, they are unholy, unsettled, unstable, uninitiated, profane people, polluted with uh, toxic poison uh, that must be uh, subjected to love for that to be washed away. Uh, because people like that become indecent and destructive, murderers,
views, illiberal, abrupt, brutal, slavish, and cowardly, intemperate in all their ways, irregular and colorless and moderate, un unsatiable, uh, insolent, conceited, self-will, mean, e e envious, and quarrelsome do they become. So get on the side of Penn and Teller. Get on the side of Aaron to call black, black, white, white, and the truth that there has never, ever been a false god of uh, judgment and uh, judgment day that's going to fry us all in hell because we don't believe he's love. That bullshit. Uh, Penn, make a new program uh, of bullshit <laughs> on that one. I'll be your star. I am Elijah that was foretold, the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13. I am Shiloh, whose eyes are red and dull of THC and wine, even though transgressed by wine, the just will live by my faith. Habakkuk, because I'm the guy with puke all over me of Zechariah 3, the writer of uh, the Flying Scroll, the writer of the Everlasting Gospel, the writer line by line, precept by precept, a strong and mighty one pulling down as a, a destroying storm, even as a hell storm. And so all standing against the logic of these two genius people, uh, they become the illiberal, abrupt, cowardly, uh, and uh, ignorant, rash, greedy, and slanderous and their love begins to wax cold because they are displaying themselves uh, by being uh, non-thinking people if they were to attack such truths of these men. Uh, and then they would show themselves to be nothing more but inharmonious, dishonest people, disobedient and obstinate, people that become tricky and swindling, insincere, insincere suspicious, hated people, absurd people, people that become difficult to detect, difficult to avoid, destructive and ill-minded, dis disproportionate people do they become. So woe unto all those calling Aaron and uh, Penn's evil good and good evil, uh, because they have no evil other than all of us. Uh, there is no good man, not even one Romans 3.10, that is your evil too. So quit looking down condescendingly upon atheists because they have been the rightest of all the religious people. Now is the time for the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12, 7, because God's word has opened anew, Daniel 12, 9, because of the message of Malachi 3, 1, that comes to prepare the Lord's way. And if the Lord's way is not prepared by it, he is kept in reserve in heaven and cannot even return, uh, exposing all the delusional Christians all over the world, uh, doing all their jumping up and down, totally in vain, saying, Jesus is coming back soon, 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 soon. No, he is not, not according to his own word. And so, therefore, people standing against the kind of logic that Penn and Aaron have, they become people of heavy sorrow, weak and bearing grief. Be they become trembling at every sound, inclined to the de delay, inconsiderate, improvident, imprudent, ne neglectful of good, unprepared, and ignorant of virtue. Do unloving people like that become as they let truth die within them so that their love waxes cold too. And they prove themselves to always be in the wrong, always erring, always stumbling, always being ill-managed, ill-governed, gluttons of punishment would they be if any of them would debate me. And uh, I don't ask uh, uh, for you and Penn, I do not ask for a debate because I agree with most of uh, what you're saying. So there's no need for a debate with the atheists of the world. I preach the opposite. I can agree to disagree, and I know you guys can too. What I'm doing is for the good of all people. Know this, uh, Aaron, know this, Penn, that the truest truth is that uh, the Bible uh, is not complete. The greatest Bible prophet of the world is not even in there. His name is Buddha. And Buddha said that Jesus Christ would remove the sin of the world 700 years later was his prophecy. And the writing that of Buddha is on the inside of a Buddhist temple. And Buddha says, in, written in rock, that you will know him because he will have uh, holes, scars in his hands, his feet, 
his, his side and his crown. And that was a university level prophecy compared to Isaiah, by his stripes we are healed. So in the same way, we have to take what is good and embrace that which is good. Uh, the Bible says, and no Christians are not anything but apostate. The Bible says concerning prophecy, you must embrace all that is good and examine prophecy most carefully. Uh, I can take what Buddha is saying, the good, and I can disagree about the reincarnation. Sure, he felt the same timelessness in the spirit that uh, is the truth behind this world. How old is it? It's created with very great age. It was created ancient on day one, if you really want to know. Adam and Eve had no belly buttons. That is unshakable uh, a prophecy or unshakable insight. Who could debate me on that? Uh, I, right now I'm reaching out to the Alan Pars, the David Woods, and the Morgue officials of YouTube. None of them would ever, ever have a chance of a hope of a prayer of a snowball and out of beating me because I am Elijah. Uh, I come forth pulling down as the Bible declares. And it's time that religion will fall as a house of cards because if the message of Malachi 3 1 does not come forth, this world will be totally destroyed. No birds, no fish, no mankind left upon the planet. Zephaniah 1 1 says so. And so we must stir up our love regardless of uh, be, what we believe or don't believe. Uh, many are going to say, Lord, Lord, we believe. And he's going to say, get away from me. I never knew you because he is the love living in within us. And everything's been defined wrongly. Uh, and so all I know is that people who will not listen to the truth of these two men, they become people that become captives, uh, easily yielding to stupidity because they become most crafty double-minded as they uh, try to uh, use logic and reason to overcome truth from people like Aaron uh, and Penn that cannot be conquered. And so people that are coming against them, they become double-tongued, perfidious, treacherous, and unscrupulous, always unsuccessful, always in want and infirm of purpose because they become fickle wanderers, followers of others, yielding to stupid impulses, uh, and they become open to the attacks of enemies, mad and easily satisfied, fond of life, far too fond of life, far too fond of their vain glory because they become people that are not passionate, people that are ill-tempered, lazy, procrastinators are all people who will look in judgment over brothers of other mothers. That is the most un-Christian, un-Islamic, and un-Jewish thing that people could do. Judge not that ye be not judged. And everybody's leaning to their own understanding, pointing fingers of the accusation that must be cut off. Because all people putting up fingers in this world, they become those who have always people that uh, they suspect. Uh, they're like gossipers, incurable, full of evil jealousies, despairingly, they become full of tears of, of anger and uh, misery, and they start rejoicing in the evil of lovelessness, because then they become frantic, and besides themselves, without any steady character, because their lovelessness within is growing as they contrive evil as their love waxes cold. And then they become eagle for disgraceful uh, gain, most selfish and willing slaves and eager enemies, demagogues, bad stewards, stiff necked, uh, and they become outcasts, confused, discarded, mocking people who are just injurious kind of uh, loveless people, vain and full of unmitigated, unalloyed misery. Uh, and for it is truth that he who stands opposed to the end time word of love flowing through people like Penn uh, and Teller and uh, Aaron Ra, uh, Ray also will stand against the culmination of the spirit of 
redemption and the spirit of revelation foretold as all things are now restored for our returning Isa Yeshua Jesus Emmanuel God with us in the flesh he who is the Lord God of all mankind and the Lord God who is the good shepherd over all flocks of man and so in this honor let all people hail love love is the name of Christ to which every knee will bow every tongue will confess Jesus was just a distortional name of a false Jesus who was never the good shepherd over all the flocks of man and making him not to be the desire of all nations and that has to be corrected or this world shall be destroyed as Isaiah 25 declares a world never to rise again a world in pieces a world utter destruction Malachi 4 6 Deuteronomy 18 18 Acts 3 10 uh, uh, Acts 3 21 Matthew 24 25 look up uh, 24 22 rather look up any of those verses for the religious snakes of the world and know that none of you believe the Bible this days that are exactly like Noah's are exactly like Noah's and total destruction will be so let all hail our returning King of kings and Lord of lords as the seven thunders of his amazement falls gently upon all people with ears to hear. Hear this, Aaron. Hear this, Penn. Hear this. And this is my prayer for both of you. Find born again people according to the Spirit of love. And I'm just looking for my uh, phone. I lost my little phone. Yeah, Murphy's Law. If it can't go wrong, it will. It does. But I found it. Yay. Yay. And so I turn on my flashlight. Give you one of these scary Halloweeny. And so unto you, the Lord has wanted me to give you this message for both of you. And for you uh, too, tell her. Pen and teller can't break up the I gotta adjust my camera here. This is the message that the Lord spoke to my heart that you need to be spreading for both of you. Uh, it's time for you each to seek for love. And, and, and know this, when I say love, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love, so whosoever would love should not perish, but have everlasting love and everlasting life. I am Elijah. And so let the Lord by his love make you both instruments of his peace. Where there is hatred, let you sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith and love. Faith and love. And where there is despair, sow seeds of hope. And where there is darkness, the light of love. And where there is sadness, sow joy. And uh, so it's time that we should not seek to be consoled but as to console, not to be understood, but as to understand, to be loved as to love, for it is in giving that we receive, for it is in uh, that it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life, dying to all hatefulness, dying to spiritual bigotry, dying to... Uh, twisted understandings that would uh, pit all people against all of their brothers of other mothers. So in this hour of love's greatest power, happy Halloween to uh, my atheist brothers and please uh, pass these on like uh, some hot potatoes because if you want to see this world get along, Christianity is falling first.